I think Eric Tegnac has come to the Premier League and, and seen how physical the league is. And guys, I don't like to claim to be the transfer specialist because I'm not. Fabrizio Romano is, David Onstein is, Simon Stone to some extent. Donny van de Beek. Donny van de Beek might be leaving Manchester United. No. Van de Beek will be leaving Manchester United because this is what the rumors are all about. Fabrizio Romano has hinted it. Also, other journalists, we have someone, a guy called Simon David, so Simon whatever. I, I read it, the, the name just went out of my head. I read the article. Has come out and said that Don, Don, Manchester United are willing to let Donny the Van de Beek and uh, Real Sociedad is the preferable club who are really showing uh, interest to get the player service. So tell me, guys, what's your opinion about, about Donny Dan, Van de Beek? But before I tell you guys what I think, about this news make sure you smash that like on the video guys we have a, a telegram group already which we will put it somewhere here you can just use your camera and join our telegram group the advantage of joining our telegram group is very simple you will have uh, the latest breaking news you will have the latest videos will be there you have a, a platform where you can communicate you know you can ask questions when is the game when and all those questions fanatic questions but guys also we are doing a giveaway I've been doing this this is the third one I'm giving away from uh, this is the United Way our channel so guys please make sure you subscribe and share we are doing this in the you will know the the winner of this cap it is this is what you wear actually if you want me to sign on it i will sign but this is a new one i'm going to post this to you the uh, where, wherever you are so guys get involved share the videos to all the community so yes donny van de beek a player who was signed during the Oli Gunnar Solskjaer period you see, you, if you see the way i put it i put it the Oli Gunnar Solskjaer period not by Oli Gunnar Solskjaer because all the proofs have shown that Oli Gunnar Solskjaer didn't sign donny van de beek this was something inflicted on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer because when you sign a player from all what we know as fans of football we know when managers sign players they use them but donny van the big sign to Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer never used him actually. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was pressured at that some time of, to use Donny van de Beek considering that he is a very good utility player. Donny van de Beek is one of those players which I think could fit in any Italian team, could fit in most Spanish clubs. Why? Because of his strength without the ball. This is what I've been saying on the channel several times. I said Do when Donny plays with Manchester United you see a different way of flow of game. But yes, it hasn't worked within Manchester United and Donny van de Beek. But this is not something that is um, always, uh, it's not something will be attributed to Donny van de Beek. He is, is just an un unfortunate uh, situation that happened with Donny van de Beek. There is this old English saying that doing the right thing the wrong way. I think United, we are trying to settle and get a very good uh, transfer policy where it will work in hand with the manager in concern. Talking about that, we can see how Ten Hag are influencing, we're knowing most of you. You never knew Amrabat even after the World Cup. Most of you never knew Amrabat, but Ten Hag he has a process. He talks about the finance. He tried to find the solution. That's why I will tell you guys: smash that like on this video for Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag is the reason why you are proud of Manchester United today. Yesterday it was Sir Alex Ferguson. Today is Eric Ten Hag. Smash that like video for Eric Ten Hag because it's Eric Ten Hag who has revolutionized this team. It's Eric Ten Hag that has given this team a second breath. You guys remember very well when Manchester United doing only. Gunnar Solskjaer, Ralph Ranick, Ralph Ranick, <laughs> I like you to talk about my name, well not Ralph Dukan, but anyway, Ralph Ranick was owner, Ralph Ranick came and did some testing, tried to um, know what the issue was, was and Ralph Ranick said we needed a whole 10 player overall, overhaul in Manchester United, which means he was right, because what Eric Ten Hag has done, for those of you who are new here, last year when the season started, and I'm going to do it this year, I did a video talking about where United would end. I said on the third position, most people got it wrong. I got it right. I hate talking about that, but I got it right. Why? Because I did, I'm a previous football player. I did uh, analyze Manchester United. I have worked, I've been a Manchester United uh, fan for over 30 years. I'm not a young guy, if you're making a mistake. And uh, I, I do transfer for football business here yeah, and also hockey. But yeah, so um, I want to tell you guys something. Ma Dan Donny van de Beek is the kind of player which every team has a technical enhanced system of playing will want because his attributes out of the ball is just something you will admire. If you remember, one of the best games Donny had last season was a game he had that injury. And that was why most of us were talking he was going to pick in. He was, I think he was the man of the match and had that injury. So I, 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 I'm jo I think he will do well when he goes to Spain. Actually, I'm in Spain now. We'll be going to Portugal. My future videos will be in Portugal in, in, in some days' time. I want to visit Cristiano Ronaldo's um, museum. Hopefully, I will have time to do so. But anyway, 
Yeah, so he he's, uh, he he will do well in Spain because the Spanish football is more more, more football about movement, and Real Sociedad it's not uh, a, a bad uh, um, choice for such a player. We know Ajax was interested, but Ajax doesn't have the finance which Manchester wants at the moment, and um, so uh, the, that's what we have with Donny. Donny was uh, actually a player which was interested back there. You wouldn't believe that some just some couple of years ago, Donny van de Beek was among the Ballon d'Ors in Europe. Did you know that Donny van de Beek was one of the Ballon d'Ors just I think five years ago? Euro was in the shortlist of Ballon d'Ors in Europe, and he came to Manchester United, and nothing happened. There is a reason for that. The reason I think I'll talk about the confidence. This is when you know when players should play play it for managers who believe in them, for managers who are ready and patient for them. That reminds me of somebody, Harry Maguire, because I don't think Ten Hag believes in Harry Maguire. So he should go to a club like West Ham who will give him playing time and Moise will, you know, be patient with his mistakes. But players should play for managers who are ready to give them time and also believe in them. I think the, the relationship between Donny van de Beek and Eric Ten Hag is fantastic, but the issue here is Donny van de Beek is not the same player in Manchester United as he was in Ajax. Why do I say this? Because I think Eric Ten Hag has come to the Premier League and, and seen how physical the league is. I think Eric Ten Hag knows he needs to be ruthless in order to get results with this present Manchester United team. I don't think Eric Ten Hag is a fan for all this PR stuff done by Manchester United in the US. Eric Ten Hag would love to be spend more time with Manchester United players. So they should do all these drills and also tactical know-how on how to to execute games. I am very confident that's what Eric Ten Hag wants to do. But the issue is United is a massive brand, world brand, and uh, most of you guys, uh, most of the fans uh, will love to see and interact with uh, their beloved team. So. Donny van de Beek to Spain. This is something we'll be telling you guys soon. Telling you a year we go soon. We'll be waiting for that from Fabrizio Romano. And guys, I don't like to claim to be the transfer specialist because I'm not. Fabrizio Romano is. David Onstein is. Simon Stone to some extent. Uh, yeah. But I, what I do is I am a Manchester United fan just like you as you click the video. So I, I am more interested about reacting. Yeah, in this channel, we are more and more interested about reacting to news of Manchester United like you guys and also sharing our position. And guys, before I end this video, I want to ask you guys, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. I want you to hit 10,000K this summer. We can do it. We have just had over 100 uh, subscri subscribers in the last two, three days. We can reach there. We just have 7,000 more to go to 10K. And if we can hit 10K, I'm going to be bringing here. All the journalists, I'm talking to I'm talking to my African brothers, sorry, I'm not a racist, my, my kids are mixed, you know, uh, but I'm talking to my African brothers because we we have a chance to build something big here on uh, the United Way TV, where I want to bring in foreign journalists to answer your questions. So please, guys, if you watch the video till now, please make sure you share with other United fans. And uh, we are building something. We are going somewhere, as our uh, guy here on the channel, um, uh, Prince Odion, always saying, we are going somewhere. That's Manchester United. But I think the United Way also is going somewhere. Anyway, guys, glad to talk to you. Tell me what you think about Donny van de Beek leaving. Because uh, one of the things I didn't mention, and Sean, is that it actually is that Donny van de Beek leaving, we need these funds to bring in Amrabat. We need these funds to bring in players. So we have Donny on the door in the market. We also have McTominay, which I think he will not go because Manchester United really like the player. But we have also our uh, Ari Magway, which we think we have to dish them out. There's also William, the defender, which we think we need to dish them out. So it will be a very tricky one in the com coming days. Before I leave, I just want to tell you guys again that, guys, uh, tell me what you think about Donny van de Beek. Do you think we should let him go? Is it time for us to say goodbye with Donny? And uh, talk to you soon.